on your budget and they find the most competitive interest rate it's your mortgage your way plus with a fixed rate no matter where interest rates go yours stays the same monthly payments don't increase it just takes one call to the salary-based mortgage consultants they'll guide you through all the options and they'll customize the right program to achieve your family's financial goals so get started now make the call 503-452-4444 americanfinancing.net NMLS 182334. Just to make sure you're up to date on all the news, you check in with Portland's Afternoon News tonight with Boyle and Betty. Yeah, thank you, Dean. Have a Thursday afternoon, Lars. Everyone listening locally. Uh, we have job cuts to report today. Big round of layoffs for workers in and around Salem. Plus, a new survey of Portland Public Schools students. Quite revealing both good and bad. Interesting that NORPAC is going bankrupt. It sounds like the higher taxes and higher wage uh, late, uh, labor costs in Oregon are driving a lot of companies away. We will see. We have more on today's deadly shooting near Los Angeles. Police are describing how things happen and how the shooter is doing right now. We report on this shooting just as the site of another shooting reopens to the public. We'll have those stories and much more on the five things you need to know today. We're going to talk breakfast cereal. Oh, you ready? Okay. I love breakfast cereal. It's one of my favorites. You put it in milk, which is also one of my favorites. Talk about it earlier this week. Traffic and weather as well. It all starts with 10 minutes of nonstop news. That is on the way next. A lot can happen in an hour. We're here to make sure you don't miss a thing. Zero two zero six one one three zero in California. End up in Oprah. Pratt's have a new impeachment catchword. It's Friday. More cases of vaping-related lung problems. Cases have been confirmed in 49 states. This is the CBS World News Roundup Late Edition, sponsored by the Capital One Saver Card. Two students were killed, three wounded, when a fellow student pulled a handgun from his backpack and opened fire. Santa Clarita, California High School today, some fire reports. Some students were already in their classrooms when there was the sound of gunfire. All of a sudden, I was on my phone, and this kid ran in, and he said, gunshots. In the school of Quad, the male student on his 16th birthday pulled a handgun from his backpack and opened fire. He then pointed the gun at his head and fired again. Hawaii Sheriff Alex Villanueva. There was a total of six transported to the hospital. The suspect was one of the six. This man lived next door to the suspect. He was a good kid. He got good grades. A smart kid. There is still no motive. Steve Futterman, CBS News, Saugus, California. House Democrat choose the day between public hearings to push a new theme in their impeachment probe, accusing President Trump of attempted bribery, stealings with the President of Ukraine. Nicole Kelly. Speaker Nancy Pelosi leveled new accusations against President Trump a day after the first public impeachment hearing examined his dealings with Ukraine. The crime is to get how military assistance in return for a public statement of a good faith investigation. Nothing is there as impeachable, and we should not be putting our country through this. Republicans elevated their calls to hear from the whistleblower, and the president took to Twitter to do the same thing. Former ambassador to Ukraine, Maria Bonovich, testifies publicly Friday. Nicole Gillian, CBS News, Capitol Hill. The number of vaping-related cases of lung illnesses continues to rise, according to health officials, but the pace is slowing. Sabrina Cupid has the latest from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. The CDC here in Atlanta confirms cases in every state except Alaska. The case count now at 2,172. The death toll, 42 in 24 states. Vitamin E has been identified as a chemical of concern. THC is present in most of the samples tested.